my go-to tool for keyword research is Word Tracker. It's a real easy interface. It makes it easy to find the words you need and organize them. So as we search for our hiking keywords, I'm going to look for a monthly average, and I'm also going to look at the global universe of how these words have been searched. Now, very quickly, I get the keywords that I'm looking for, and Word Tracker is providing about 4,000 keyword suggestions. There's most likely more than that, but we don't need that many at this point. We're looking to see the different words people are associating with hiking. Now, of course, we have our keywords listed down the left-hand side. The volume column tells us about how many times that keyword has been searched in a month's time. The IAAT column is all about how many times that keyword is in the title tag of pages. These are a good indicator of how many other sites are using those exact keywords in their optimization. Then the competition column. The higher the number, the more difficult it will be to rank for that keyword. For example, in hiking boots, there are about 280 searches per month. And again, it could be a lot more than that. This is just an extrapolation of data to get that number. However, there are 6,000 websites with those keywords in their title tag on the website. We have a higher number here of 18.3, which means there is a lot of competition for that term. The Keyword Effectiveness Index also gives us an idea of how effective it will be to optimize for those words on our own site. Now, on this one, the lower the keyword means the higher the competition. And what that's doing is comparing the actual number of sites that have those words in the title tag and other tags on the site compared to the amount of searches. Now, what Word Tracker will also show us is the keyword demand for the last 12 months. I love seeing the trend because just because a keyword is popular for a specific month does not mean that it is popular the entire year. As we go down the page, it will also show you which websites are ranking right now and the difficulty for those sites to stay there because of the competition. It will also provide recommended terms from Amazon as well as terms from YouTube if you are doing optimization for those two sites as well. Now, it makes it very easy. You've got these tools across the top that you can use in order to refine your keywords. What I love is the question tab. The question tab is taking advantage of the newer voice assistants, such as Siri, Amazon Echo, and other types of voice assistants where you are asking for a search rather than typing it in. And so we can see which search terms are question-based through voice search. Now, also, there's a tab here for including. And so I'm going to take away the question-based searches, and I'm going to do the include, which means everything in hiking, but also everything that has hiking boots. And now I will only see the terms that have both hiking and boots in them. And now from here, I can start selecting which keywords are going to be best for my purposes on my website or in my content. Now I can take all of the keywords that I've added here that I've checked and I can click save and I have a list already created for hiking boots and I can add those keywords to that list. Now, when I'm ready to do a little more exploration on my keywords, I can go to the top of the page select lists, and I can see all of my lists here. I'm going to open up my hiking boots list, and I can work within it here using the tools provided, or I can just go ahead and export that to an Excel spreadsheet. And then as soon as it's in Excel, you can start working with it that way and doing some additional comparison. And that is the Word Tracker Keyword Tool.